All right, let's do this on the Zim. This is the Zim Studio Journal. This is, these are my bills I have to pay right there. I like them in the shot, so I'm gonna move them. I also, um, this is my video journal where I'll tell you everything that went down in my musical and artistic journey over the last week. Let's get started. So I'm 40 years old and I don't own a bed. More on that in a little while. First of all, jam of the week, we got Arliss. Sent me a track, it's dope, check it out. It's my jam of the week. I'll link it up in the description of this video. Um, Arliss was also on the podcast a while back, so check that out. Speaking of the podcast, we got Word on the Street is um, you know, my podcast. That's what I do. Every week I publish podcasts. Last week we had I Am Halo, the project I Am Halo with Island Halogram and Audrey Lane on it. So check it out. Um, the screenshot of the girls right there. Uh, what to mention? I didn't actually listen back to the full version again. I just didn't have the time to do it. And so, yeah. So you, it's up to you to tell me what you think. There is, I do know there's a slight audio anomaly, but as you know, by now, maybe you don't. On this channel, I mentioned I bought a new audio interface, so hopefully moving forward, we'll be a lot better with the audio capturing. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Coming up next on the podcast is... Um, well, first, before I mention who's... Well, I'll say, coming up next is um, Honey Mustard, the band. So check it out. They're amazing. I love them so much. Um, just general stuff about the podcast. I've switched up the intro I've been talking about for a while. This last intro was pretty rad for me because I got... I told you why... One of the main reasons why I'm doing the podcast. I mean, I think that... It was probably like 60% of the reasons why I'm doing the podcast I talked about on... The intro of this podcast, the last podcast. Um, so check it out if you haven't. Of course, if you're watching this, you probably know most of why I do the podcast because I talk about it a lot on these video journals. So I did that. That was awesome. And then I also, what I'm starting to do is give tips to what I believe is a, things you should seriously consider for if you want to have a successful music career. And I started with what I believe is the number one most important thing, and that is. Um, having a professional, having really high quality audio. And there is an idea I did not mention. Oh yes, oh it's coming to me. There's an idea I did not mention in there about having really great audio. Um, let me see if I can remember while I'm here. But um, I, can't. I can't remember. Maybe it'll come to me and I'll mention it into the beginning, into this podcast somewhere. But um, give me a second. No, I can't. It's not there. Anyways, there's another idea I did not mention about it. It's, it's a gateway to everything. Represents you when you're not there. Gosh darn it. There is something else about it that's very important that I did not mention. It might be this. It might be this. We'll see. It might be the fact... I think it is this. The fact that... We live now, currently, in our society now, even more so, it's just weird, it's a weird thing, because audio, the audio, your audio, your, your, what represents you when you're not there has always been important, and it's become more important again in a way, because, this is it, this is exactly what I left out, nobody goes to see shows unless they know exactly what it is they're going to see. They research it first online. So if your audio, if you, what you represent yourself with online is not awesome, then you're losing out. So basically, you need, a, you need that audio representation of what you do so that people will be inspired to actually come to your show. That's what I meant to say. That's what I didn't add to the beginning of the, in, of the last podcast about why audio is so, why your, why your recordings are so important. So check out what I said. Add it to this. Let me know what you think. You think I'm crazy. I'd love to hear from you. Also, I'd love to hear your jam of the week. What are you listening to? That'd be rad. Um, so that's it. And for the... I have six more podcasts in the can right now. I have none scheduled to record. There's been some talk about tr trying to get to L.A. for some people um, and doing that. That's pretty much where I'm headed regardless Probably in the next week or two, I'll be scheduling. I'll be looking at my calendar, 
scheduling a few days to drive up to LA and trying to get some more podcasts recorded because at this time I don't feel I have it in I don't have the means to fly to Seattle again. It cost me about a grand to make that trip and that I just don't see I don't think it'd be wise for me to do that. And so what do I gotta do to continue this? LA I can drive, it cost me, you know, thirty bucks in gas to get up there in a day, and I think I can do that. So I could probably do Three would be smart, four would be pushing it, but I could probably do four in a day if it lines up right, if people are down and want to do it. So I could have a month's worth, essentially, in one day. And that would be pretty rad. So if I did that two or three days, that would create a buffer for me until I could get back to Seattle. I did send, I only did it through one source, but um, I did send Alaska Airlines an email in hopes that uh, maybe, in hopes that maybe that sponsor the podcast by providing me with flight to Seattle. Yeah, why not? You know, they'd be supporting the arts community in Seattle cuz I'm supporting the arts community in Seattle if they want to if they're at all interested in community support and want to do that thing and want to be a part of it and want to have a legacy toward what they're doing and by helping me do this because this is a legacy thing um then maybe they maybe they've seen it, maybe they're deciding. I don't know. I'm I'm going to try a few other avenues toward Alaska and see, because they're based in Seattle, so it makes sense that they'd be the ones to talk to you about it. Um, but we'll see, and I'm already, Alaska Airlines is the airline I fly when I fly, because I have a credit card and, you know, all that frequent flyer mile numbers stuff that I do. So, I did that, and I've actually emailed a couple other, out or one other outlet to see if they would be willing to support the podcast in that idea of helping me get to Seattle. So... I'm going to leave them off of this one, but I don't want to blast it too much because, you know, whatever. I just don't feel like talking about it. But if you, so basically, like, it would be super awesome if there's some way that more people would become aware of what I'm doing, what I'm building, and wanted to support it and help me get to back to Seattle. I'd definitely prefer to be able to afford to fly back to Seattle than do it any other route. Because I love going back to Seattle and I want to continue this in a very much inside of the city conversation rather than the peripheral so much. But we'll see how it goes. Um, so that's what's going on with the podcast. Yes, if you have any questions for me regarding any of that stuff, how you, if you want to support, happy to tell you. Just let me know. Comment, say, hey, I'd love to support. What can I do? And I'll get a hold of you. We can either do it privately or just for the public to see through the comments. So we'll hook it up. Um, the music, what's going on in the music world. The big thing is I wrote my eighth song. So I have eight songs. I'm a month ahead again of my goal of writing, recording, and publishing one song a month for the rest of my life. So I'm one song ahead in a way in terms of writing. Um, I have, So here, here, let's catch this up. Eight songs written. Two songs published, one song really close to done that I'm, and then what, five songs that are in the mix. Um, I have three out. Eight. Three out. I don't know what three out means. But, anyways, um, so one song is really close. I think I'm going to start reaching out to the people that I, so. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Three of the five that are in the mix are out to people working on in some aspect. And what I'm going to do is is reach out to them and say, Hey, are you actually going to do anything with these? Because I'd love it if you got them back to me. <laughs> kind of idea. So, um, let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I think there's four out. No, there can't be four out. One, two, three, there are, oh, four, yeah, four out, ah, whatever. The one that's close, that's why I was confused. The one that's super close is out, but it's pretty much done. I'm just, so anyways, in the next little while, I'm going to start emailing my people and say, like, do you still want to work on it? Do you, what, what's going on? Because I want to publish these, obviously, that's my goal, is to publish them, get them out to you. So... That's what's going on with, I'm really stoked on that, to think about it. I'm really stoked on the idea that even though it's been a slow process, once I get to the end of the year, I'll have 12 songs done. I think it's amazing. And then plus, 
there's three songs from the Zim and A Rock that are getting worked on right now. So, 15 songs will be done by the end of the year that I worked on. They're my music. I think that's pretty amazing. So, that's. I feel good about that, even though it's like I want things to happen faster. I'm still thankful that they're happening in a way. So, that's awesome. Life stuff, the big life thing is my mom is here in San Diego. So, that's going to be interesting to see how it'll all play out in terms of um, what's going on because she's living with me in this house. She's in the other room right now. So it's like it makes it slightly awkward for me because I have the door closed to this room where normally I feel much freer to do what I want. I'm now feeling self-conscious about doing what I want because there is another person in the building and that's not my kids and they're only here half the time and it's just, uh, you know what I'm saying. So we'll see how it plays out. Um, that's what that's going on. I'll keep you posted. Lift has been going good. I have been for two days in a row now maintaining a perfect five star rating, which is very difficult. I'll talk about it more on my next Lift video. It publishes somewhere around this one. It'll be video 23, I believe. I don't know. I didn't look that up, but 23, I think, is what I'm up to. So if you want to check it out, just wait for that to publish and you'll see it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty hard to do, make. Basically, it boils down to this. is you For the last 100 rated rides, you need to get five stars for every one of them. And that's not easy. And I did it for two days in a row. So anyways, I'm pretty stoked on it. For many reasons, the validation of being perfect is pretty awesome. I like, I strive for perfection. I definitely do. I wanted to be the best person I can be, to put it simply. And when I get validated for that, and when somebody says, yes, you actually are the, per the best at this right now, that's awesome. That makes me feel good. So that's cool. And if you want to follow along, I think I've mentioned this before, at Rideshare, not only do I make the videos, but at Rideshare Zim, I have an Instagram dedicated to my rideshare story in a way it's mostly screenshots of what i've been doing with my app and things but you know i don't know we'll see how it goes i only posted it i just started it like last week so that's me this week thanks for joining if you want to know more feel free to ask me questions and i'd be happy to answer them um, i'll answer them in the comments or i'll also make more video on it down the line so there we go i'm done i'll catch up with you again next time peace